the one thing they knew then and that we obviously know now that could have stopped the pandemic or slowed it was social distancing, keeping people away from each other. Perhaps the most tragic example comes in Philadelphia that fall. On September 28, 1918, a crowd of nearly 200,000 floods the streets for a Liberty Loan Parade. There were numerous doctors urging the cancellation, but the local public health director insisted that the parade go forward. It's a public health disaster as the flu spreads to thousands in the city. Philadelphia falls apart. The hospitals become overwhelmed, the graves become overwhelmed, the cemeteries become overwhelmed. There are over 15,000 people killed in Philadelphia from the pandemic. There are hundreds, literally hundreds, of people dying every single day. Young seminarians from the Catholic Archdiocese are the unsung heroes of the city of brotherly love. They remove hundreds of bodies from the homes. Some of them have been dead for a week or 10 days. And it's October, and this is not the dead of winter. In one cemetery, we've got almost 3,400 bodies that go into the ground, many of them in mass graves. Even when the Philadelphia Health Authorities change course and close public meeting places, the newspapers still don't tell the truth. When they finally, after all this, closed schools, banned all public gatherings. One of the newspapers even said this was not a public health measure. You know, how stupid did they think people were? 